There are many different types of breast cancer clinical trials, such as prevention trials, treatment trials, or trials that are aimed at improving a patient's quality of life. Professor Kellyanne Phillips is the Breast Cancer Trials Deputy Director of Research and explains the different types of breast cancer clinical trials, the different phases of trials, and also the different roles of members of a clinical trials team. There are a number of different types of breast cancer clinical trials. So many breast cancer clinical trials are looking at new treatments for breast cancer. Other trials are looking at new prevention strategies, whether they be medications or alterations in lifestyle, uh, such as exercise and reducing body weight, for example. There are also trials that are looking at the best way to deliver the interventions that we already have and other trials which are focused on uh, women with advanced breast cancer and how we might best support them. So there's a whole different array of types of breast cancer clinical trials that we do. So once a new treatment has been studied extensively in the laboratory, the next step is to start testing that on people. And this testing in people is usually done in a series of clinical trials that we call phases. So a phase one clinical trial is often the first time that that drug will have been used in humans. It's aimed at looking at uh, what the side effects are of that drug and also in trying to work out what the best dose of that drug would be and also the best scheduling of the drug. So it's really finding out more about what's the best way to give the drug to minimise side effects. So at the end of a phase one clinical trial, we know the optimal dose and dosing regimen for the drug of interest. And we then move into a phase two clinical trial. This is really designed to look at how active the new drug is, what proportion of people with breast cancer who get that new drug will actually benefit from it to give us an idea of whether it's likely to be more beneficial than the standard treatment. When things look good in a phase two clinical trial and we're seeing quite a bit of activity, we then move drugs into phase three clinical trials. And that's generally where we're directly comparing the new agent with the current standard treatment. And we're looking to see if the new agent is better so if it improves the breast cancer outcomes and also whether it has fewer side effects than the current standard treatment. Once new drugs prove to be better than the current standard treatment in a phase three clinical trial, this is when we're then able to move them into the clinic to become the next new standard of care. And this is how we incrementally improve things in clinical trials. The old standard of care is replaced by a new standard of care that's informed by phase three clinical trials. In general, there's a step-by-step -step process uh, through the different phases of clinical trials, but in some trials, the phases are merged together. So we have some trials with a slightly more complex designs uh, that might be combining both phase one and phase two or phase two and phase three. The research team behind a clinical trial is really pretty comprehensive and large. So, you know, there's the people that um, the clinical trial patients would see in the clinic. So that's the, the doctors and clinicians looking after them, the research nurses, uh, the research coordinators and data managers who are helping to collect the information in the clinical trial. In the background though, there are a large number of other people too. So in the trials group, we have our trials department where our staff are working on the data that's coming in, um, looking at it, making sure it's correct and really uh, increasing the robustness and the integrity of the clinical trial. So clinical trials are like a great big machine and actually you know, the patient is really only seeing one little tiny piece of that machine. There's a whole other great big piece of machinery behind it that's not seen um, face to face by the patient, but it's all there and it's all really important. That was Professor Kellyanne Phillips, Breast Cancer Trials Deputy Director of Research. To find out more about breast cancer trials and our research, go to breastcancertrials.org.au.